Alright guys, so today we're going to be looking at the world record supersonic free fall from, uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but it was sponsored by Red Bull. And this guy jumps from the highest point ever for a free fall, and the guy coaching him was the previous record done in like, I think like the 50s or 60s or something like that. Let's check it out. Uh, make sure we're on HD, always. Bam. Cool. I'm the guy who jumped from space. Felix Bumgarner, that's what it was. I knew it was something like that. This is like 2012, I want to say, like November-ish, 2012. Be the first human outside of an aircraft breaking the sound barrier. 127,000 feet. How fast is a sound barrier? I almost weigh twice the weight that I normally have, and it's very difficult to do a perfect exit. Do not. Let's put that on the screen. How fast is a sound barrier? Let's put that up there. Rotating. There's no air that, that you can use. To oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, so I remember, I remember at one point in this, there was a big fear that. If his, if he if he laid flat and he started rotating, the the blood wouldn't be able to get back to his heart and he'd basically just like die in the midair, middle of air or something like that. Okay, here we go. World's highest jump. I wonder what happened to the the space balloon. Or the air balloon. Whatever it is. Imagine. The first 25 seconds, it looked like everything is under control. There's no, there's no wind flow on a suit. If you notice, not a conspiracy theory or nothing. And just, just saying. Seconds, I, hit I think the weight. One. Mach 1.25. Oh, that. Okay. So this, this old man, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> Mach one. And where is it? Right here. So this is the previous guy who did it. I don't remember his name. I want to say he was in the Air Force, and he was the one that previously had the highest jump. Speed of sound. <laughs> is that him breaking the... Yeah. That was our goal. I wanted to be the first human... Maximum vertical speed world record. Whew, a lot of record. Joe Kittinger. Because of the fact okay. that a lot of those scientists said prior to the jump... 810 miles an hour? And the other half said, we don't think anything is going to happen. I was mentally prepared to spin, but I was hoping... Oh, this is where they're talking about it. Now, if you watch the next couple of seconds, you see at that moment... It slowly starts to spin. It okay, so he picks up that, that dangerous spin. The problem is there's no protocol. There's nobody in the world telling you, listen, Felix, if this happens, you have to do this while the whole world is watching. Oh, my God. And I was trying to move my arms around a little bit, just maybe it does something, and then it stopped for a second, but now it starts getting the opposite. Of Could you imagine? Because you're, you're so far up in the sky. You move your arms, you stop everything, and then everything... In you just start spinning the opposite direction. I'm like, bro, give me a break. I'm going to die up here and I have no control over it. You know, and then it really ramps up. At that moment, it's not about breaking records anymore. At that moment, it's all about survival. Damn. 600 miles an hour. Way for the blood to leave your skull and that's through all the eyeballs. If that happens, you're going to die. Did he just say the blood will leave your skull through your eyeballs? For the blood to leave your skull and that's through all the eyeballs. If that happens, you're gonna die. I had a chi whiz attached to my hand. The chi whiz is a device that I thought he said cheese whiz. Not the only one. That pulls you out of that flat spin. That's why I put my hands in to trick that that uh, chi whiz. It's less chi, and now the chi whiz senses oh less chi. That means he's getting it under control. I oh, so it helps stabilize him. So when you look at my suit, you know, the more you fall, the more depressurized the suit gets. And here you can already see the Okay, suit yeah, 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 yeah. You look at the sky, it's blue now. You know? So we went from black sky back to blue sky. If you look at the right corner... So he was like basically in space. Flares, and it gives me the perfect direction for the wind. Now this is a very important moment. Oh yeah, you don't want the wind to, you don't want the wind to catch you and fucking slam you into the ground. ...that I'm breathing regular air. So he just flipped his visor up. Is that 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 can't be it, right? There had to be some type of some type of airlock on that because you're you're up in space. But I'm breathing regular air. Right. So now I'm really happy. We miss it. Even the landing. There we go. Very first time after hours and hours inside that spacesuit that I'm breathing. Now I'm not a big conspiracy theory guy, but you saw how, how easy that thing just flipped up. Where is the where's the seal? Where's the seal on it? Regular air. So now I'm really happy because even the landing 
were just perfect. He stuck the landing. World record vertical distance of if of free fall. Alright guys, if you want to see more videos like this, like the video, leave me a comment, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.